Hey there folks and welcome to this video. Today would have been Richard Burns' 50th birthday. So I want to talk about him for a few minutes and the kind of legacy he has. I'm going to do that with the help of a visual aid. This scale toy car or model car. It's from 2003 for Ali Monte Carlo. It's the um, non-tobacco sponsored uh, 2003 206, which well, the 206 is an interesting car because of the way it cheated the um, minimum length regulations. It's also the reason why we ended up with the likes of Skoda Fabia, because homologation specials and all that. Well, technically, but that's a story for another time. Today is about the 2001 World Rally Champion, who, funnily enough, is actually not, not from too far away from me. From Reading, which is like an hour away. For me, there are a lot of things that remind me of Burns. And I keep this car here, this little model one, because um, as a kid, we went on a family holiday and we stopped at like a supermarket or something. And there's a magazine that has this in it. I've kept it since. Uh, if you watched my videos when I was living away from here, they had that somewhere in a shot. And, I mean, I also have an infatuation with these kinds of cars. I've got a, I guess you'd call it mint version of it back here, as well as Peter Sorberg ones, Colin McRae ones. There's a Ari Rothenberg, a Tommy Mackinnon, and a Marco Martin. One of the things I remember about Richard Burns and... Me, I was born in 99, so I was born when he was going to the prime of his career. It's when he won the child when he won the title in 2001. I'm not old enough to actually remember him winning the title. One of my earliest memories is Peter Solberg repeating the same feat on the same stage two years later. He came off the back of a title battle that he had to fight two for nail to get back into and won against all the odds. And when he won, you can watch in the footage, he raises up Robert Reed's hand and says, you're the best in the world. And that's something that Aidan Millwood points out when he does his story time about Burns. Because so many people talk about the drivers, but not really the co-drivers. Like yeah, Phil Mills is, who also won the title with... Subaru, um, your Derek Ringo who was alongside Colin McRae, or your Nicky Grist and David Richards who also helped drivers to their championship. Maybe that's because the official like co-driver championship didn't start until into the noughties. Like, the early winners were the likes of Phil Mills. But, yeah, um... Burns probably, had he not have had to pull out of World Rally GB for medical reasons due to his unnoticed uh, brain tumour, probably could have won the 03 title. And 2004 he would have been teammates with Peter Solberg. So whichever one of those two would have won the title, they would have been teammates together. That would have been fantastic. And it's tragic that he was taken from us in 2005 after a two year long battle. Though his legacy lives on in so many ways. Um, awards, championships, these guys of recognition. And of course, most importantly, in a lot of sim racers view, the game, Richard Burns Rally. For me, RBR has been something I've played ever since it came out. It's uh, probably one of my favorite games and for many it's still the best out there of course supported by a wide array of mods which help it with among other things online multiplayer as well as updating the physics and the car lists and one of the amazing things is being able to 
have him be your guide through it, a lot like the original Colin McRae rally had with the late Colin McRae. Can't wait to see the next generation of British rallying legends. Arguably, we really have one with Elvin Evans. It's. I just hope he wins a title. He was so close in 2020 to taking it. And it would have been in spectacular fashion as well. A bit like Burns for his consistency. But yeah, let me know what you think of when it comes to Richard Burns. To me, it's a guy who is quite local to me going on and also thanking the people beside him for helping him along the journey. Thank you for watching.